very much, Chukudi. Let's Thank go you. to China, where our president will be visiting on Friday. He'll be visiting the president of China, Xi Jinping. He'll be departing on Friday for the seventh summit of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, FOCAC, scheduled to hold between the 3rd and the 4th of September. Malam Garabashe, who the senior special assistant on media and publicity, made this known in a statement in Abuja on Thursday. According to the presidential aide, the president's first engagement in Beijing will be an interactive session with the Nigerian community in China at the Nigerian embassy. He said that before the formal opening of the FOCAC summit, President Buhari, in his capacity as current chair of ECOWAS, would deliver remarks at the high-level dialogue between Chinese and African leaders, business representatives, and African entrepreneurs. Now, you would recall that this week we discussed extensively about how Nigeria is trying to position herself to take advantage of you know, the exploration of countries that are powerful in the world. Auntie Meme was in Nigeria. Uh, Auntie Angela is also, Angie is also in Nigeria. Uh, Ang Angela. No, 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 Angie, we need to Nigeria, domesticate Nigeria. the name. <laughs> These are, in all honesty, if we go by political arrangements, the most powerful women in the world. Now, countries go into partnership for what they can gain. You would notice that there's a new scramble for Africa because people are looking at the continent and trying to see how they can exploit. Remember yesterday I was using exploration. Explore. Now it's exploit because the, the end for these countries is to make profits from the friendship. What we must do as a block is to take advantage of the, the resources that we have. For example, raw materials, the people, a continent that if you create an enabling environment, everything will thrive. But what we have is people, a lot of people who just want to take pictures and make it look like, oh, for the first time in how many years this person is visiting. Now we are going to China. The wife of the president is going. She has a very important uh, uh, duty to also perform there. We have four governors. We have four senators, of which Senator Gosula Pabio is one of them and we have nine ministers. As far as I'm concerned, if we don't want this visit to China to be an excursion, that they are just going there to take Chinese air and come back to Nigeria, we must have a plan before we set out to China. And we must set out a plan that we can you know, assess over time. Quick question. Do you believe that we should have states of the nation addresses before the president departs and goes on a trip with regards to what he wants to bring back to this country? I think that there should be communication between those who lead and those who are led. But unfortunately, in Nigeria, we have to deal with a lot. Even though there's a lot of wastage in government, special advisor on media, special this on this, senior assistant on this, senior assistant on that, just wasting people. Well, just, just go live on TV or on radio, it, it might even be simulcast, and you just put out the word there. This is what we hope to achieve, this is what we want to do. If we want to cut down all the waste and excesses in government, but that's not what we are talking about. But I believe there should be interaction. There should be a channel through which the people can express themselves, and you get feedback to test if your government is popular, and not just when you come to campaign grounds or wait for elections. Now, let us look at how we can take advantage of this. Remember yesterday I mentioned that the European Union as a block, Europe as a continent with countries, the European Union, have done business with Africa to the tune of over 200 billion US dollars. China as a country alone has done business with Africa as a continent to the tune of over 180 billion US dollars. Now, when we look at all of these power blocks, we know who has prioritized Africa. What you must do is position yourself to take advantage of what the person is bringing to the table. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be very honest with you. We have signed memorandums of understanding. We have signed partnership. We have entered into agreements. But if we cannot see all these actions translate directly in the life of the average Nigerian, it's a waste of time. We are just pack packing paper. We are better just pack all this paper and give it to somebody in the junction that is frying Ankara. I would have said Suya, but Suya is, is the national paper for packing Suya is newspaper. 
they should just give it to somebody that is frying a car. Because we are just signing memorandum of understanding, memorandum for understanding, and we the people that yeah, are supposed to be understanding. Understanding. We don't understand, no understand anything. Anything. Exactly. Very yep. true indeed. We need to ensure that we strategically position ourselves to harness these visits. I mean, lots of people had been reacting to Theresa May's visit, saying that it was just like, oh, I'm on my way to church. Let me just stop and greet no, my No, she friend. breathed in and you breathed know, out. Breathe in, breathe out. We don't know if we're really going to feel any impact from her But the truth is, whether she stays here for three days, or she stays for three months. I mean, Macron was here for... Whether she stays here for three days or she stays for three months, it is how you take advantage of every opportunity that you see. The fact that she recognizes Nigeria as a power block in the continent of Africa is a plus to us. I mean, South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya. But what we must do is ensure that as these people look at us as the beautiful bride, we don't stain our wedding gown. I couldn't have... Oh, I like that one. Mm -hmm. I was nice trying to one. work I, it out. That's a good one. That's mm -hmm. a good one. Right. The thing for this year, for the summit, is towards an even stronger African China. And we're hoping that we wish them journey messages. You know, we hope they will fly safe. And we hope that at the end of the day, there will be something profitable from this meeting. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos, when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.